solenoids. My motor stopped working. It kept blowing the fuses over and over and over. I finally found out the solenoid was bad. Okay, the ground's always plugged in. The key, you got the key off, so it's not doing nothing. Okay, now you're gonna turn the key on to turn the motor on. When you turn the key, you activate this switch. You hear that? That means that or sends power to the starter. The battery hook right there. Well, you hit the switch. Now it's sending power to over here, which means the starter is hooked up there. And when you turn the key switch, you hear this. That's when you hear more starts. All right, here we go. Uh, this is the one that just came off of it. As you can see, it's completely messed up. Here's the other piece. It just like literally broke off. Three pole, three, a three pole one. One, two, three. It's supposed to be up there, guys. One, two, three. I would show you how to test this one, but like I said, it's completely broken. This is the pole that goes right here. It just completely melted it off. That's probably from holding the key too long. And messed it up. But anyway, this belongs up here, just so you know. You can see it's all melted and stuff. Anyway, it's a four pole, mine's a three pole solenoid. One, two, three, with the mower. I ended up buying and they sent me the four pole solenoid one two three four instead it'll still work i'm gonna show you how to get it going it's real simple actually nothing bad about it but anyway this is the ground and this this is hot wire hot wire and hot wire goes on here so your battery wire is going to get hooked on this one right here your starter wire is going to get hooked on this one and your key switch is going to get hooked on here what would ha normally happen The, your key switch is hooked up and everything. Well, when you turn the key switch, right now I got it hooked up the battery to show you. But when you turn the key switch, when you turn the key switch, this will be hooked to the ground. When you hook this up to your, your mower, that's the ground right there already hooked up. So when you hooked up to the mower, the ground's hooked up. And when you turn the key, See how it's sparking? That, that's completely messed up, man. That's, it's not even supposed to spark. But it's completely messed up and uh, it's shorted out. That's why this is all melted, no good. But that's how you test it. If it is good, if it's not melted nothing, look good and you pull off your solenoid, you want to test it, just put some ground to the, to, the, to the body of the solenoid and then just touch that. And right now it's sparking, which that's why I was blowing my fuses left and right. I'm lucky I bought the 20 pack because I was trying something. Yep, trying to find the what was wrong with it before I realized the whole freaking cylinder was bad. I was trying stuff and every time I turned the key switch, pop. And the way you know they pop, if you look in the middle there, they're blown. I don't know how, if you can see that real good or not. And uh, I was just blowing through the left and right. So we'll put that away. That's completely shot. The one I ended up buying. On the description, uh, on the picture it showed there was a three prong, but I didn't read the description all the way right. I always read the description right. They burned me because they charged me more for the four prong, and the four prongs are usually like, it was seven for the four pole, but the four poles are usually like seven to ten bucks, and I ended up paying more for not reading the description. They show the picture of the one like mine, my, my old one, but you know, of course new, but they sent me the one with four. It's the same thing. It's still gonna work the same way. Uh, but like I was telling you earlier, you can hook up a ground to back there and try it. So then you hook up the, this gonna be like your key switch. So nothing happens. The reason nothing happens because on the old one, is grounded, this is grounded to the inside. So whenever you touch this and ground, then it clicks and that's how you know it's working. Now you have to hook a ground up in here instead of just bolting this onto the body. Now you gotta make a ground wire, hook it up to here. And uh, when you turn the key, right, this is how you test it. Put your ground here, hot here. You hear the click? That's like when you're turning your key switch on. And when you turn your key switch, you hear that? That's when you're hearing and it turns the motor over and the motor turns on. So that, that's how that works right there. So it's still going to work the same. 
The only thing is, since it's a four prongs, I gotta make my own wire, which I got me one of these. These little clips, they just, they just slide right on the right way. See? And the one for the mower is already hooked with the key switch one. It comes from the key switch. It's in the mower. I gotta put it from the mower on here. So this is the key switch one. This is the starter one. This is the battery one. Now I have to make a ground one. I'll just get a wire, shave that off, put it in there, crimp it, hook this to a ground on the mower, and then when I plug it in, I'm all ready to go. It's that simple to do. So remember, if you can't find the three prong one, where you just want to pay less money, because the four prong, the four pole ones are actually cheaper for some reason. But or you can buy one of these. These just cost a little more. But like I ended up with this one, it's still gonna work. But I just gotta make a ground wire for it. And some people say they like the four pole ones better. Uh, I don't know why they charge more for the three pole ones. If some people are liking the four pole ones better, but maybe because the way they gotta make it, the inside and everything, or the ground from here, because you don't got a ground here. But anyway, I'm gonna ground it, get it going, and that's how that's how it works. Uh, thank you for watching my video. It's just a short explanation on how you can use the four pole one instead of the three pole one. So, if you like the video or if you hate it, whatever, just give me a like and a thumbs up and subscribe so you can watch some of my other videos. Uh, if you don't like, uh, if you don't like the video, still subscribe, man. There's some other videos in there you can watch that you probably don't like either. And hey, you can watch videos you don't like. Don't always watch stuff you like. Works both ways, man. Life is for everybody and everything. Uh, if you did like the video, well, subscribe anyway so you can watch more videos you like. <laughs> Works both ways, man. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, guys, girls, dog, cat, gorillas, elephants, any kind of animals, whatever creatures, aliens. Aliens probably understand this too. Y'all yeah, subscribe. Y'all yeah, watching my stuff, man. If you're a pet from an owner watching this, go up there and accidentally, well, not accidentally, go up there and hit the subscribe for your owner. And hit a like for your owner. If you can understand me, man. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Later. All of these are messed up, man. So, you might want to check your signal first. Out of a lot of the videos I've seen, most of the problem at first I was blowing the fuse with the cylinder was messed up somehow. Or some wires are shorted, but a lot of times it's been the solenoids to check the solenoid first, make sure everything's okay, then start going from there, I guess.